How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we got another printer to tinker with. Uh, the other printer that we bought, which you can check if you see the uh, little link popped up in the corner, we bought, we tinkered, we got it to work, so I went back to the same seller, bought another printer from them. Hopefully this will be a similar outcome, listed for as is for parts repair, and it was also $25. This one does not have the ethernet port, but I think we still should be able to get it working. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And let's get into the printer. We're gonna unbox and we're gonna tinker. There we go. Very similar packaging as last time. A priority large mailing box. So I'm assuming that this is going to be full of packing peanuts. And what do you know, packing peanuts and a bubble wrapped printer. This guy knows what he's doing. I have no problem buying another printer from him, especially after getting that last one working. But I absolutely hate packing peanuts. Here is our printer. Ooh, homie did me wrong. This is the UPS LP2844. This is not the LP2844. This is the LP2844 that we bought last time. As you can see, the Zebra logo on the front, LP2844. We turn it over on the back. It is the model LP2844 by Zebra Technologies. This is what I just got, the Thermal 2844, which is actually the UPS LP2844. This is not the same printer. This is one that has different internals and uses a different driver than this printer. I've actually never messed with one, but I have gotten a lot of questions on Instagram on people that have accidentally bought this model. Although this one is not, this one was originally given or sold to UPS at a super cheap discounted or free rate from Zebra and it was made to work specifically with UPS systems. So I'm not even sure I could get this working on a Mac or a PC. I've been wanting to mess with one since I've been getting questions on Instagram about them and I am going to use this as that opportunity. Looks like this was manufactured in January of 2007 assembled in the USA. It is still a Zebra printer, but it just has internals that do not work with the drivers that I normally use everything for this. Here is the listing. He listed it as the Zebra LP2844, although it is the Thermal 2844. He didn't do anything wrong. I overlooked the sticker and I didn't zoom into the bottom where I can see that it is indeed the UPS LP2844 model. So I just looked at the title and I grabbed it really quick. That was my fault. This does indeed look like the printer that he sent me. However, the one that I bought last time was not. So that was my mistake. It was $25 shipped. I'm definitely not going to return it. Want to make a point that I overlooked it, looked at the title really quick and just kind of impulse bought it for this video. First things first, we're gonna have to power it on because we did not get a power cable with it. I do have a power cable right here from another printer that I'm going to borrow and see if it does indeed power on, which it does. Wants to feed labels, let's get some labels. We're just gonna feed some labels through the back and it looks like it was set up for four by six being the UPS one, they probably had it set up with, for four by six labels anyways. So I'm guessing that it was calibrated for four by six. And it looks like it was. This is how I was supposed to calibrate the other one, but it wasn't letting me calibrate it like this. So although it was already calibrated, we ran the calibration. This is what the other printer, if you guys didn't already see that video in the corner, that's what this printer was supposed to do was calibrate a couple labels and then print this. But this also this also lets us know that the print head's perfectly fine, that we just gotta figure out how to get it to work with a computer now. According to the Zebra website, you need UPS specific drivers for this. I'm gonna try to set it up with a Mac. I have it plugged in with a USB to USB-C converter. I'm on the printers and scanners window. I'm gonna hit plus. It does recognize it, the UPS Thermal 2844. We're going to select software, type in EPL2, and the Zebra EPL2 label printer driver, hit OK, hit add. It says setting up the printer, setting up 
the UPS Thermal 2844. Let that run. It took like a minute to install and now I'm going to print a sample label. All right, I'm gonna print this sample label, control P. I'm gonna pick the printer, four by six, hit print. I'm not quite sure why it printed out two labels, but that's progress. By that time it only printed one. So I'm not sure why it printed two the first time. A sample label is scannable, but it's not the crispiest of labels. I have another sample label that I'm going to print. And that one is actually really, really, really crispy. And here's one that I just printed out from Pirate Ship. The quality is perfectly fine. It actually looks like better quality than my other printer. I think the print head on this one's probably a little bit better. So look at that, that barcode will have no problem scanning. Now we're gonna try to get it set up on a PC. We got some labels loaded. We're gonna plug it into the Windows PC using our USB cord. USB goes in the back. USB goes into the computer. Let's see if anything comes up with Zebra setup utilities. So the UPS driver is one that you can download from the Seagull Scientific website. It looks like it's an Eltron driver by Bartender Seagull Scientific. If this works, I will put a link to it in the description. But if we go to the Zebra website, it actually has something specific to the UPS LP2844. It says it's used exclusively for UPS WorldShip and does not support general printing applications. Only designed to work with UPS, but does say the UPS driver is available from the UPS website. Either way, we downloaded the Eltron driver from Seagull Scientific. And that test print looks really, really good. Um, I don't know what Zebra's talking about, that this only used the UPS system or whatever. I was able to get it working perfectly fine with a Mac or with a PC. There is a specific driver for the PC. It doesn't work with the Zebra driver like my install a Zebra LP2844 video does. But I'm pleasantly surprised for $25. I think this was a great. So another printer and another success. I will most likely be giving this one away at cost. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you learned something today because I certainly did. I didn't know that the UPS 2844 works pretty much the same other than a little bit of tweak in the Windows drivers than the regular Zebra LP2844. Because I've had people reach out to me on Instagram with problems, but I didn't really see too many issues with this. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.